today we will be doing the weekly forecast for the week from the 12th of April until the 16th of April. Lovely traders, welcome back to ChrisFX, I hope you are doing great both in life and in trading. And once again for our today's video we will be doing the forecast for those pairs that I have with green. So let's begin with EURUSD as our first pair and we will begin from the daily chart in order to see the overall direction. So we are on the trading view platform, we are on the daily 1 and D and then you have the daily chart and let's see what we have. In the past as you can see once again we were in this uptrend which now seems to be broken and now we are in this downtrend. Nonetheless it is very important to say that we haven't broken this previous area that we see here on the left and since we haven't broken this area it is very possible that price is retracing now and continuing with the overall uptrend that we have, the great uptrend or it is possible that we will be continuing with this downtrend that we can see over here at least until we hit this previous level of support. This is a more likely scenario. That being said, we will go down to the one hour chart now because this is the chart that I'm trading only and I will be clearing out all the drawings that I have over here. Of course, we see this overall downtrend that we have seen from the daily chart, as you can see over here. On the other hand, on the hourly chart, we are making higher highs and higher lows, so we are in an uptrend. What I can see here from price action though is that price is struggling to make higher highs and higher lows. For example, here we had a very nice impulse, a flag pattern and then another very nice impulse, but then look what happens price is struggling, sellers are pushing the price downwards and then buyers try one more time but then buyers try one more time here but they marginally pass the previous area and then we retrace once again. Now there is another way that you can see this one, it is a potential head and shoulders also. This is the left shoulder, let's say this is the head and here we have the second shoulder being formed. So it is very likely that now we will be continuing with a downtrend over here and now we will play the different scenarios. Let me draw the 50 EMA over here, let's say that this is the 50 EMA, now we are doing this, we have this thing over here, it is very possible that we cross the 50 EMA on the downside and I'm only selling below the 50 EMA and only buying above the 50 EMA as I have said and if I see something, let's say something like that, it is not going to be enough for me because I want us to pass this previous area but if I see one to three and that we break below impulsively below this previous area then I will be placing the pending order around here and I will be targeting 1.5 to 1 and here we have 1.5 to 1, it's gonna be looking something like that. The other scenario is that we break below the EMA and everybody thinks that now price is gonna be making lower highs and lower lows and then on Tuesday we see something like that, a very nice impulse and then we continue with the uptrend. If I see something like that I will be entering here on the previous level with a buy limit order like that and I will be targeting 1.5 to 1 once again. These are the likely scenarios for EURUSD, I cannot really see this pair consolidating here, we don't have any indications that this pair is going to be consolidating so I'm not looking at a scenario like this one, not at all. I'm looking at these two possible scenarios that I talked about. Now let's move to GBP USD, British Pound US Dollar, let's go to the daily chart and here we are on the daily chart and this is the one that I have as a thumbnail also and from the daily chart we can see that we were in this very large uptrend once again for let's see how many days for 190 days guys as you can see here but now we have clearly broken below this trend line as we can see and we are making lower highs and lower lows you can see over here lower highs and lower lows being formed. Now of course price is in a very major point once again which is this previous area and we are going to be zooming in a little bit from which price reacted on the 25th of March 2021. So it is very possible that now price is going to be finding support over here 
and that we will be continuing with this uptrend also or the other scenario from the daily chart is that we are gonna be breaking impulsively and then continue with this downtrend. Let's scale down to the one hour chart and check it out. Here we are on the one hour chart, I will be deleting this line of course, I'm just drawing those lines for the purpose of the video, I'm just trading clear price action and only price action. The two likely scenarios from the one hour chart are number one that we're gonna be having another fake out let's say and then we're gonna go impulsively above and do something like that and of course I'm gonna be entering over here once again with a buy limit order. So if I see this impulse that we see over here, if I see this impulse with a form of a bullish candle with only a small wick, then I will be entering with a limit order, a buy limit order over here for 1.5 to 1. And the other scenario, of course, is that we will be continuing with this downtrend that we do something like that and we break impulsively once again. If I will place a sell of course, I want this previous area to be broken as you see over here. Only if I see an impulse like that, I will be placing an order to this previous area. Let's say that this is the sell limit order or the other scenario, of course, for a sell, it is if we see something like that. We see that and then again, something like a flag pattern and then I will be placing my order over here. Okay. So this is what I'm looking for for GBP USD. Let's move on to AUD USD. And here we had two losing trades as you can see here. I think I also called those losing trades on Instagram. Here it is more clear as we can see. We have USD as the common currency in all of these three pairs. So here we see that this uptrend got broken and of course as we said in one of our previous videos this is a head and shoulders over here which is an extremely strong indication that we are gonna be having a downtrend over here. Once again this is the left shoulder, this is the head and this is the right shoulder. This is pretty clear, a very clear head and shoulders pattern. Now we had this impulse, this candle that we see over here, this impulsive candle. Let me delete this thing, this here. And now this is the perfect flag pattern on a daily chart. And of course, we are expecting this flag pattern to be broken on the downside. This is the most likely scenario. Let's go down to the one hour chart where I'm gonna be entering the trades and let me delete this one and as we can see this flag pattern that we saw on the daily chart is this whole area price is mostly moving between these two levels between 0.76752 and 0.75619 of course the most likely scenario as we saw from the daily chart is for the market to go on with a downtrend so what i want to see here of course if i am supposed to sell i want price to break below this previous area that we see over here and I have to improve my drawings a little bit. Actually, this one was the major area, the major previous area and this was a fake out. Of course, once again, if I want to be selling, if I will be selling, I want to see these previous levels being broken. Okay, and if I see something like that, an impulse, I will be placing a pending order back here, a little bit above the area so it's gonna be looking something like that with 1.5 to 1 risk to reward. Now one thing I want to talk about guys, this is a very very important thing in this currency pair for example and in every currency pair of course there is the possibility that we will be forming a strong trend. This is the EMA that I have drawn over here as we can see and what I want to say now is that if we start with a strong trend, with a very nice trend over here, we will not stop entering after this trade. Let's say that we enter a trade like that and this is being won, of course we will be continuing. What I mean by that, if we see something like that over here, then we will be placing another pending order over here. Okay, so then it's gonna be going somehow like that. And I have back tested that stuff and it works very, very nicely. I have spent thousands of hours back testing. So if I see that and then let's say that we have something like that and then impulse again, guess what? I'm placing a pending order back here. And of course, we keep scaling and scaling. You can trade however you want. Of course, the thing is that what I'm doing here, I'm taking fixed 1.5 to 1. This, of course, does not hold me from entering trades again and again. I'm just taking a fixed 1.5 to 1 
which works way better than any other thing that I have backtested. But of course, in an established trend, we are gonna be entering again and again if we will be given the right price action. So we want to make the most out of these beautiful trends. So this is what I'm expecting for AUD USD. Let's go to the JPY pairs now. Let's start with the Euro JPY, then GBP JPY and AUD JPY. As we showed the same pairs with the USD as the second pair and here from the daily chart. Let's go to the daily chart. What can we see here, ladies and gentlemen? Here is the strategy that I'm testing. Here from the daily chart on Euro Japanese Yen and you can see with 1.5 to 1 here I'm testing this strategy, very very nice percentages, 66% in 33 trades, of course it's just 33 trades but I have back tested those pairs again and again, okay this is not the first trial of course. What we see here is that we are moving from a daily perspective within this uptrend of course but this is also a channel. Okay, and what is possible when we are moving within an ascending channel is for price, generally speaking, to break below this channel. Another major thing that we have to notice from a daily perspective is that this time price has found resistance over here. Of course, we closed very bullish on Friday, but still we are in this area which was resistance in the past, so it is very likely also, if you check this out, it is an M formation, it is very likely that we will be continuing with a downtrend now. We will be scaling down, of course, to the one hour chart. This is the chart once again that I'm trading only. So here we are. It is very, very likely for you guys that want to be very, very technical with the trend lines and stuff. Of course, we have this whole space until we reach over here in this previous trend line which is 146 pips as we can see but let's leave all of that aside and let's talk about the different scenarios and as i said this is the scenario i'm seeing over here of course whatever i see if i see price action let's say on the one hour chart doing something like that and of course passing this previous area then i'm gonna be placing a pending order around here a buy limit order for an 1.5 to 1 but the most likely scenario in my opinion is that we are going to be seeing a fake out or something like that and then price is going to start with a downtrend and of course if i see below the ema something like that you guessed it right i'm entering with a 1.5 to 1 over here okay that's it for euro jpy Let's move down to British Pound JPY. Look at this beautiful established downtrend as I have talked about it beforehand and this is where we want to make the most out of the market. These trades I called them on Instagram but we lost both of them but guess what? I also said that whoever entered in these previous areas because guys guess what? With my strategy with a typical break and retest you would be placing your order around here and you would never be activated but with my strategy you would be activated immediately with this blue candle we are not waiting for a huge retrace okay we are going with the momentum with my strategy and of course i said i'm not trading anymore when i lost three trades in a row i won only one on usd card and i decided not to call out any more trades but if you entered those trades over here you would have one okay then you would be having this second and again with a typical break and retest you would never be activated but with my rule you would be activated two times here and you would be winning all of these times the third time of course over here because we would be entering once again we would have lost okay we would have lost over here let's say it would be something like that so overall you would be making with my strategy unfortunately over here only one percent because you lost this one and then you lost this one so you lost one and one two percent and then you won three percent because you're taking 1.5 in each one okay so three minus two does one you would be winning only one percent but sometimes you will be winning all of these trades and even more in the row so in a movement like that you could easily have won all of these trades and made let's see from here to here we have three days in just three days you could be making six percent very easily but still the one percent if we would be entering all of those 
with my strategy would be fine, it's better than a loss and the large wins are gonna come. From the daily perspective, once again, we were in this uptrend, which now seems to be broken. We had this previous area, which we broke above it for just a little bit, and then we came very impulsively down here. So let's switch back to the one hour chart. I think we are continuing with this beautiful downtrend. Of course, I see price doing some stuff. Let's draw the EMA. For me, it's very important. I see price doing some stuff like that, like a fake uptrend and then going impulsively once again. Of course, I want to see this whole previous area being broken in order for me to place a sell. Okay, if I see something like that, I'm in, of course, over here with a pending order, a sell limit order once again, 1.5 to 1. And of course, I'm going to be making the most out of the market depending on how strong the trend is. AUDJPY daily chart. Of course, we see we were in this huge uptrend over here. Most importantly, though, what we see here once again is this head and shoulders. And this is a very, very, very clear head and shoulders. Okay, left shoulder, head and right shoulder. And what do we expect after a head and shoulders, especially on a daily time frame, we expect, of course, for price to start with a huge downtrend. Let's remove all of these lines. Let's scale down to the one hour chart and let's check it out. One possibility for entry would be somehow like here, of course, here we could have entered. But generally speaking, we don't see clear price action. What I'm waiting, what I'm expecting, of course, is for this downtrend to continue right now. Of course, we broke this previous high. This does not mean that we are in an uptrend, of course. Don't get confused. But if I see something like that here and an impulse, I'm not selling over here because we have this previous area. So what I want to see is price come down, come down either with a channel and break impulsively and then I will be placing my order here. Or the other scenario is that price is gonna come back here, let's say in this area, it's gonna react a little bit, do something like that, and then we're gonna be having that, and of course I'm gonna enter here with a sell limit order once again. And take profit 1.5 to 1, and as we said, in an established downtrend, if this continues impulsively, we will be entering here, and then we will be entering here, once again in this previous area and ladies and gentlemen i am creating something very very powerful and very valuable where i have taken the time and i have concentrated all of the different patterns out of which we can be entering so it doesn't need to be clear like that it doesn't need to be that clear so we enter here we may enter after something like that also or something like that and then here I'm gathering all the different patterns and I am increasing my winning percentages more and more. I'm spending too much time on that stuff. Let's go to USDCAD and here we are on USDCAD. It is the only winning trade of this week. You see one of these patterns that we entered. As I said, you see this channel kind of and then I entered with a pending order over here. Since we broke this previous area, I thought we would be continuing with the uptrend. I was going initially for 1.5 to 1, but then I had lost those three trades in a row. Of course, this week we were in a slight negative at 2%. And since I saw the other three trades being lost, I decided to close this one in order to minimize risk. So I closed it in 1 to 1. And this week I'm just down 2%, which is nothing. The previous week only we made way more than that, of course, and I called all of the trades once again. Again, traders, do not believe anybody who tells you that has something like a strategy winning 70% of the time with a 2 to 1. I know that I might be ruining your dreams, but this does not exist out there. So once again, remember, there are some weeks those strategies win, let's say, 55 to 60% of the time, and we are getting 1.5 to 1 which is a huge percentage, especially in an established trend where we can make the most out of the market. And as you saw, for example, on EuroJPY, now that I am becoming more familiar with some patterns, we may be winning even above 60%, even though I do not believe it in a very, very large sample. I think we would be winning 52 to 55% of the time with this strategy. And this is, of course, a very, very strong percentage. So 
if you hear anybody, any YouTuber out there telling you that he or she has a system that wins, let's say, 80% of the time and they're taking 1.4 to 1 or something, this is fake. This is not existent out there or 70% of the time and taking, let's say, 1.5 or 2 to 1 or 3 to 1, this is total lie. There is no way that this is possible. Of course, this can be possible in a single month, but over a sample which is large, not that large, just let's say 60 trades and above, this is impossible. Okay, let's move on with the USD card now that I have told all of these things over here. From a daily perspective, we are in this established downtrend. Of course, we are also moving within this huge channel. Okay, here we see it, we go down to the one hour chart once again. And from the one hour chart, I can see the EMA coming somehow like that. I want to see clear price action here. I want to see something, let's say, like this. And then I will enter over here. Furthermore, if I see, let's say, a pattern forming like that, and then we have a break once again, I will be entering again after this pattern you see over here. This is another way that I'm going to be entering in this previous area with a pending order with a sell limit order right here going for 1.5 to 1. Overall, I do not see this pair going in an uptrend. I think we are going to be continuing in a downtrend at least until this previous level that we see over here. So let's wait and see. And once again, let's talk about this stuff that I was talking beforehand. You see here once again, another trial, 43 trades, losses 19, minus 19%, wins 24. It is a very nice percentage, but we are winning 1.5 to 1 because this is what works best with this strategy, with these currency pairs. And we have an overall plus 17% within 43 trades, which is huge. In my next videos, I'm going to be talking about prop firms, for example, FTMO and stuff like that. And I'm going to be analyzing everything thoroughly with you. And I'm going to debunk any myths around the prop firms and any myths around the real percentages so that you will not be feeling that you are not worth it because there are so many lies out there. And hopefully with my next videos, I'm going to be helping with your trading psychology. And I think that the biggest enemy in a trader's psychology is his or her own mind. And if you are vulnerable and you are not filtering out information that is coming from, let's say here are the fake gurus. Okay, we have the fake gurus over here. Then we have people who passed the challenges, let's say the past FTMO and other challenges, but they do not explain many other things like if they took it 1000 times or if they had proper risk management and you're taking all of this information and then you're taking those other guys who are saying they're kind of close to these fake gurus over here and there are these other guys who have these amazing strategies winning 70% of the time and they're winning 3 to 1. Of course, now you have to be wondering how those people are winning these huge percentages and the best traders in the world, the oldest and best traders in the world would be giving away their arms in order to have percentages like this one because these percentages are lies. In my next videos, I'm going to be talking about all of that stuff. I hope that you loved this drawing. If you love this drawing, type that down in the comment section. And of course, please like the video and subscribe as this beautiful person is telling you to do over here for more free educational content. And in case you want to support the channel, I will be leaving my links down in the description for donations in case you want to donate something to this channel. This is going to do it for today. Hopefully I shed some light into this upcoming week. And once again, I will be posting my trades on Instagram so be sure that you follow me over there. I wish you a beautiful weekend. Thank you all for watching. Until next time.